to reduce fractions, we look for a common factor between the numerator and the denominator. And we divide both top and bottom by that common factor. We would like to use the greatest common factor. Well, the factors of 18 include 6, and so do the factors of 24. 6 is the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. So if we divide both of them by 6, we end up with 3 over 4, and our fraction is reduced. What if we don't realize 6 is the greatest common factor, but we still come up with a common factor? What if we think, oh, 3, 3 is a factor of both 18 and 24? Well, we will divide both top and bottom by 3, and we will get 6 over 8. But we will have a fraction that is not completely reduced. We have to realize, well, 6 and 8 have a common factor of 2. We're not finished. We have to divide both top and bottom by 2, and we end up with 3 over 4. The same correct answer we had the first time. Either method is just as good, so long as you realize you have to keep going until you have reduced the fraction as far as it can be reduced. Let's try it with this one. 8 and 10 have a common factor of 2. If we divide both top and bottom by 2, we get 4 fifths. Since 2 is the only common factor of 8 and 10, there is no second method that will work. No matter what will happen, we will get 4 fifths. Here we have 400 over 550. And I think the greatest common factor of these two numbers is 50. So I'm going to divide by 50, divide by 50. And I will get 8 over 11. 8 over 11 is the completely reduced fraction that is equivalent to 400 over 550. But here's another example where we could have found a common factor, but that wasn't the greatest common factor. We could have divided both top and bottom by 5, for instance. 400 divided by 5 is 80. 550 divided by 5 is 110. And then we might realize, oh, look, 80 and 110 both have a 0 at the end. They have a common factor of 10. So I'm not finished. I'm going to keep going. 80 divided by 10 is equal to 8. 110 divided by 10 is equal to 11. And I have the correct answer, 8 elevenths again. 25 over 75, well, I can see that they must have a common factor of 5 as they both end with 5. So if I divide both top and bottom by 5, I will get 5 over 15. But I am not finished, because 5 and 15 still have a common factor of 5 again. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. My answer is 1 third. If I noticed right away that 25 and 75 have a common factor of 25, I can do it more quickly and get the same answer. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 75 divided by 25 is 3. My answer is 1 third either way. This is how you reduce fractions.